Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Vinim Viseli, who is Deputy Director of the Department of Electronic Communications and the Ministry of Industry and Trade for the Czech Republic. Uh, Vilem, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Now, uh, first of all, congratulations on uh, your place on the, the ITU Council. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the fact that uh, the ITU Council uh, prepares the draft of the ITU strategic uh, and financial plans for presentation to the ITU next plenipotentiary. Uh, so I wanted to find out what, what are your country's top priorities that you'd like to bring to the table? Yes. Um, well, we stand for the efficiency and uh, result-based approach of the ITU very much. So um, we prefer the solutions without political prejudices and the sense of cooperation um, in the ITU. Um, we would like to see uh, the activities of the ITU uh, as transparent as possible open to any control by the member states entrusting their resources to the ITU and uh, that's probably it. In financial terms, while not to get in too much detail, uh, we probably would like to see the uh, cost efficiency, uh, the financial resources being spent uh, responsibly and covering as much debts as possible where there are any and while keeping the uh, budgets as balanced as possible. Very valid points. I mean, the ITU Council also ensures the oversight of ITU's activities, policies and strategies. How do you think ITU should evolve to maintain relevance in today's world? Well, we think that ITU should stick to its original powers probably as much as possible. Uh, standing by uh, developing countries, uh, setting the technical standards, and managing the radio spectrum, uh, which is one of the most important issues in the area of electronic communications. Uh, ITU should remain a, an expert-based body, uh, tackling the most urgent issues there, which appear in the area of electronic communications. And uh, it also, in our opinion, uh, should serve as a body organizing the um, capacity building and tutorial uh, activities, events, because uh, this is what we need. Uh, highly educated experts being able to set the standards for new types of networks and uh, we see the literacy and ability to behave responsibly uh, in digital world as a cornerstone to survive, to uh, not to get harmed when uh, being and existing uh, in, in this new world, new digital era. Now, talking about this, this particular new digital era, about half the world's uh, are, people are connected to the internet and the other half is not. As a member state serving on the ITU Council, what are your country's plans to get everyone connected? Well, we would like to uh, contribute to creating an open and friendly environment in these terms. Uh, since the majority of the area of our country is covered by quite a high capacity and modern network infrastructure, we would like to share our experience and best practice and knowledge uh, with those who find themselves nowadays more well, closer to the beginning of the process of change here. So that would be our main uh, aim in these terms here. And, and finally, is there anything else that, uh, that we haven't covered here that you'd like to add? A message to uh, participants here in Dubai, but also to our wider audience? Of course. Well, I would like to thank everyone for their vote. Um, we are really happy to be back uh, in the ITU Council and uh, it's binding. And we see it as a real commitment uh, to be in the Council and uh, I can promise that the whole Czech team will try to do its best to uh, serve 
the whole ITU membership at well, our best and do as best as we can. Well, congratulations once again on your election to the Council and we look forward to catching up with you again in the future too. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure.